literally like you're in a Coast Guard. It's perfect. I'm in touch with Nader whole day and I saw turtles and that's what I came here from. Out of all of the cool animals that I've seen, this is definitely the best one. You can see how she's dropping the eggs. To be a witness of that, I feel like it's absolutely a once in a lifetime experience. I'm really excited to spend the whole rest of the week here. Sea turtles are reptiles. They're, they're air breathing animals. The female turtles typically at night uh, will crawl ashore um, after they've mated and, and have fertilized eggs. And then using the rear flippers, they will dig an egg chamber. Just using their rear flippers is actually an amazing process to watch because there's a great deal of dexterity in those rear flippers. It almost looks like a, a human hand wearing a glove. But they very carefully dig out that hole and place the sand to the side. And once they sense that it's deep enough and large enough to accommodate a uh, hundred or so eggs, uh, they begin dropping those eggs two or three at a time. I am putting sand on my hand. So this way it's safe to, to handle the eggs, okay? The eggs are actually um, slightly leathery. You, you know, you could you can indent one with your fingers so they're not hard like a chicken egg. So they can, you know, bounce on top of each other, essentially. Once it's full, she'll start using the hind flippers grabbing sand from the side of that hole and burying it and and kind of shifting her weight to the back and really packing the sand in when she's done burying the eggs disguising the area she'll crawl back to the sea and never have anything to do with that nest or those eggs or those hatchlings again in latin america and central america there's a long tradition of eating turtles uh, eating turtle eggs, and that's a persistent problem. Because, and of course, if you're eating an adult, that that represents a, an incredible investment of time and uh, energy to get an animal that's that size and is reproductively active. You know, they say only one in a thousand or one in ten thousand survives to adulthood. Well, then when someone along, someone comes along and kills that adult, you know, it's. Uh, hugely impactful to the population. But there are plenty of things that we can do to reverse that. And, um, and it's working. When, when we eliminate threats, when, begin, when we begin to protect habitat and do that for a sustained period of time, we, we are achieving positive impacts for sea turtles uh, here in the U.S. and, and many other places. You, you can become a member of the organization. You can adopt a sea turtle symbolically and you can also donate there. We have uh, a couple of volunteer opportunities in uh, in Tortuguero in Costa Rica. We run a, a biological field station and people can go there and spend a week or two working with our biologists living at the field station and directly helping with that project. It was still awesome because we saw the first, well, my first night saw five turtles. I sat next to the turtle and start touching their, their fins and everything. It was so awesome. I really want to do it again. The turtles were so cool.